In today's lesson, we're going to be covering DEC, which stands for double-ended queue in Python. And most importantly, why this is very useful if you have some sort of stack in Python that you need to manage. And let's get right into it. And the first thing we need to do is import from the collections DEC. And to use it is quite simple. First, let's go ahead and create a variable called people. And that's going to equal an array of Mario, Luigi, and let's say Toad. So the usual Mario characters. And then we're going to create a queue. And to create this queue, all we need to do is call DEC. And inside there, we insert our list. So now we've converted this list into a double-ended queue. And we're just going to be going over a lot of the methods that come with this double-ended queue and how we can actually use this to handle queues in any kind of system. Pretend you have a queue of people, for example, that want to ride a roller coaster. This is a perfect example on how you can use that to manage that queue. But the most common one you'll have in every list is the append method. So let's pretend Bowser wants to join the queue. Now, when we go ahead and print this queue, you'll notice that we'll have a queue with Bowser at the end of the queue. And the type that we're going to get back is a deck, but this can be treated as a normal list. For example, if we go ahead and say, let's see what's happening in the queue at the index of one, we'll get Luigi back. So it can be treated as a normal list. But now let's go ahead and pretend that Mario has left the queue. So let's go ahead and type in queue, and we're going to get a new method called pop left. In a normal list, we can pop things, but it's only from in a normal list, we can go ahead and pop elements, but that's usually only from the end of the array. So with this, we can go ahead and call pop left. And when we go ahead and print the queue, we'll see that Mario has left the queue. And now Luigi is next in line. But now let's go ahead and say that Daisy decided to cut the line. So here we're going to go ahead and say append left. And this is another convenience method we get with queues. So here we can go ahead and say Daisy. And when we print the queue, we're going to get Daisy in front of everybody. Daisy decided, I don't want to wait. I have princess powers. I'm just going to go to the front of the line. Now let's go ahead and pretend that Daisy went on the ride and then she decided, okay, I'm going to be fair this time. I'm going to go to the back of the queue and wait my turn again. So Luigi will be next again, even though Luigi never got his turn yet. So to create a rotation, all we have to do is go ahead and call rotate and insert the index of minus one. So this will move everyone to the left one. Otherwise, if you don't insert anything, everyone's going to move to the right one. So we're going to start with minus one to demonstrate this. And let's go ahead and print the queue. So print queue. And Luigi will be at the front and Daisy will be at the end. And as I mentioned earlier, if you don't pass anything in, it's going to do it in a different way. So we're going to have Daisy going backwards while Bowser goes to the front of the queue. And that's not really a queue-like behavior, but that's just how it is by default. And the great thing about this rotate method is that you can insert any number you want. So if two people went on the ride, we can go ahead and add minus two. So Daisy and Luigi went together and now they're at the back of the queue while Toad and Bowser are now in the front of the queue. But we'll keep that at minus one. Now let's pretend we want to append more than one person to the end of the queue because people are coming in loads. So one way to do this is to call the extend method. And just like everything, we have extend left and extend which just goes to the back of the queue. So here you can pass in any array just as with extend left. And here we're going to go ahead and add shy guy and Yoshi. And now when we print the queue, instead of just appending one person, it's going to append both Shy Guy and Yoshi to the end. And if we do extend left instead, it's going to put them at the front of the array. And the final method I want to bring up here is the reverse method. And this one is quite common no matter where you are. All it does is reverse everything in the array. So, so Yoshi will be at the front and Luigi will be at the back as opposed to what we had earlier. But at the end of the day, always make sure to use what you think is most convenient. I think using the deck instead of a list can make a lot more sense when you're working with any kind of queue, because even though you can create all of this in a normal list, 
deck just has so much more functionality right out of the box that doesn't confuse the programmer or require the programmer to create any unnecessary computations. But anyways, guys, with that being said, that's actually all I wanted to cover in today's lesson. Of course, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. But otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.